honest, politics is more often cock up than conspiracy. And uh, I think a lot of the time, journalists and political observers on the left obsess far too much over the minutiae. We saw, um, for example, the, the, the Tories' Twitter game, whether it's changing the handle of CCHQ Press uh, to Fact Check UK, or whether it's putting out Comic Sans uh, type posters saying, get Brexit done, only on Twitter, only going to a few tens of thousands of people, basically all of whom know how to vote already. It's quite clear that this is all angled at winding up journalists. <laughs> and it works so well. <laughs> it works so well. It completely destroys the narrative of the opposition when something that honestly, if every journalist ignored, would not affect the election in any way whatsoever. CCHQ has about 50,000 followers on Twitter. They changed their name uh, and, and tweeted out some rebuttal of the Labour Party during a debate. It led the news for like two days. CCHQ was skipping happy. They were absolutely laughing because it, it, it's like having a strategy that you don't really want to be explored too much over here and then thinking, hmm, how do we, how do we distract the opposition? How do we make sure that we, we can disrupt, for example, the Lib Dem manifesto launch? We go, oh, look over here, look what's going on on Twitter. And then suddenly the, the media descends to that and in its very insular way starts talking about something that doesn't change a single person's vote out in the country because most people in the country think that all politicians are, are, are lying crooks anyway. Um, and and it, it absolutely sets up the media class to, to live within this intractable bubble where they're all talking to themselves about a Twitter account they will follow. It's extraordinary how easy it is to sort of um, distract and disorientate the opposition.